I'm Kiki Fontenot with the LSU Ag Center and today we're talking about growing blueberries and what types of blueberries to select when you're considering picking shrubs for your backyard or even for an orchard a you pick um, smaller operation or a larger commercial operation. Right here I have three distinct shrubs. All three are blueberries, all three are native, but they have different qualities. The first shrub up here to the forefront is a rabbit eye blueberry. Rabbit eye blueberries are the most commonly grown throughout Louisiana. You're gonna see them throughout the state. They range in the number of chill hours they need based on the variety that you select, but typically they're not gonna be producing until late May through even early July. So right now you're gonna see they just have flowers on them. A lot of the leaves are just starting to pop out on these. Excellent if you're a low maintenance gardener um, and you don't wanna deal with a lot of disease problems. This shrub right behind me is a southern highbush blueberry. Southern highbush blueberries should definitely be considered by our commercial growers. So if you're starting a U-Pick or a commercial type operation, this shrub right here is gonna give you earlier fruit harvest. We can extend our harvest window as early as April with this shrub um, and go all the way in through late June with it. So on this one, compared to the rabbit eye, you're gonna see a lot of the foliage has already come out and we have fruit that's definitely set. It's nowhere near being ready to harvest yet, but it's definitely set on this southern high bush. Now, southern high bush are gonna be a little bit more picky than a rabbit eye. They're gonna want more organic matter around their roots. They don't tolerate um, too wet of soil, so you're gonna have to have absolutely good drainage on this right here. And it's gonna be more susceptible to, to diseases. So whereas a rabbit eye, you could get away with never spraying the shrub, making good quality fruit. Here, you're probably gonna to wanna to get on some kind of disease spray schedule, fungicides, bactericides, things like that to prevent diseases from setting in. Finally, I have another native type blueberry behind me. This is Vexinium Eliot. This Eliotai, this one is native to North Carolina. It's gonna have much thinner leaves on it smaller fruit, more tangy fruit, whereas the other two produce sweeter fruit. But this one um, is native to river bottoms, um, shady areas. So if you have an area that doesn't quite get an, as much sun, this might be a good selection for you here as well. All three are great. I would encourage gardeners and farmers to plant not only different varieties of blueberries, but different types of blueberries to really extend that harvest window as wide as you can from somewhere, you know, in early April all the way through the early part of July.